Hello again. Someone asked me the other day what is an ancestor or how would I define an ancestor? I approach this in terms of looking back over our shoulders to see someone who's a long way back because if they're a long way back then they are likely to be a little bit more sensible than we are in modern day times. Now that is that means there's no disrespect to grandparents, great-grandparents, great-great-grandparents but in our modern civilised world, and when I say modern civilised world I mean including uh, something like the 20th century, the 19th century, even the 18th century. In our modern civilised world we have lost the connection, the generational connection. So in other words we are not really capable of passing wisdom and ad advice down through the generations anymore as we used to generation after generation after generation because well put it bluntly uh, we've simply lost the wisdom that we wish to pass down the guidance which we used to have in tribal society that meant it kept us with a set of principles and qualities that helped us to move through life in a balanced way. So when I'm talking about an ancestor, I'm talking about somebody who is possibly a thousand, two thousand, three thousand years old, suffering difficulties and learning all the things that we basically and originally uh, needed to know when we're in life, which we don't really have today. We're so um, caught up in the modern behaviour that we have to adopt and the modern way of seeing things. Qualities and principles of courage, strength, um, humility, um, humour. Uh, th there's a lot of things that are all bagged up together and it's quite usual that we're also uh, caught up with things in our lives and with the way we have to behave and we're all quite uh, affected by those things which means that we also sometimes become a little off-centre. So anyway, um, yeah, to put it basically, if I'm describing what I see as an ancestor, it's someone who adheres to that time when you could pass something from generation to generation to generation in a tribal sense. You could pass something down that meant that you were living with the natural world, you were living with an awareness of the other world, you were living, 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 living. And today we, we don't really live in the way we used to. Can you hear the blackbird singing? I don't know if the, the camera's uh, picking up the blackbird, uh, but something like that I'm quite aware of as I'm talking. And that is another aspect that a lot of people don't even hear the bird song. So if we look back to a time when we did hear bird song more readily, when we could call upon the same principles as our forefathers or foremothers had practiced before us and it went on generation after generation after generation then we're sort of on the safe side. If we look back a couple of thousand years we can only be on the safe side because the awareness those people had back then is very different from the awareness we have today. So stretch your imagination, try to think back to someone in your line who is a couple of thousand years old and that's quite remarkable. You know that you're connected to them. You've got the same blood in your veins. And if you weren't connected to them, well, you simply wouldn't be here. But that's what we have to do. We have to look back, use our imaginations, stretch our imaginations, and aim to see someone who goes a long way back. And if we go past all the modern stuff, then perhaps we may just hear what they have to say to us or feel what they are encouraging us and influencing us to do. Yeah.